Munster will have the money they're saving from R.G. Snyman. So you could just give that to O'Mahony and go, OK. But, you know, and then you need everybody else to come through. And you trust those young players that the injury profile of a dog will clears up this time next year. Um, and I'm sure there's a way they can make it work. And I'd say that, that, that I'm sure there's a lot of horse trading going on in the background while he's quietly going about his business and going, yeah, yeah so I just played in too long and we won. Yeah. Had, had that work out. All of a sudden we looked like a completely different team. Exactly. You know. Yeah. Oh, you missed me, did you? Pay me. This. Well, somebody is saying that on his behalf, I hope. And he deserves it. Lest anybody be in any... Like, Munster should be paying him. Ireland should be paying him. Irrespective of whether or not he's the captain. He's, like, playing some of the best rugby of his career. He's totally worth it. Like, pay the man his money. Keep him in the system. It's remarkable. And, like, he is the one player who's managed to interrupt the endless Leinster cycle of back row, second rows that have, have been produced, obviously. I mean, Tyburn is a, is a big adopted Munster man at this stage but um, has obviously come from... Newbridge College. Newbridge College, obviously the, the Leinster province in, in, in general. Like other than O'Mahony and, and maybe CJ Stander, like there, there hasn't been a whole pile of non-Leinster born, I know, was Kellen Dowers born in Mayo, but we're, we're considering him Leinster, obviously. But you know what I'm getting at here, the fact that Peter O'Mahony has been the one person to interrupt yeah. that post-Stander. I can't. Uh, yeah. Like obviously Ian Henderson too would, would put his hand up there and... Um, but I, I, I could see a world where Peter Mahoney is not captain and the RFU is like he's, he's definitely worth the central contract for another year.